hello everybody. Um, it's September, what is it? It's the 15th or the 16th, <laughs> 2022. Um, my wife's gonna check it out real quick. How's everyone doing? We're gonna go up Highway 38 today to take a look at the fire burn area and stuff like that, see what we can see. And I'm assuming it's gonna smell like Christmas up there, like like burnt firewood. I'm, uh, I'm not looking forward to seeing the damage, but I am looking forward to seeing the damage to put it on video for you guys. So we will see you guys in a moment. So this is, we're still on, I don't know if, if it's still Lagonia from Redlands, but Lagonia turns into Highway 38. And Highway 38 takes us all the way up to Big Bear. Yeah, this is a beautiful drive. But I thought it would be perfect because of the fires and, and, and the big mudslide. Oh, guys, that's right. We're going to get to see some, uh, some leftover deposits from that big mud rock slide. So I'm looking forward to that. It kept our highway closed for almost two months, I think. Right, babe? Yeah. It was about two months. This whole area. 
area is. So that area must get completely enveloped when they get massive storms coming through. But yeah, it's a very beautiful place. There's hidden treasures all over this mountain. And my wife's taught me two of them and I thought I should have already known these. She taught me about this other like natural spring spigot that comes out of the mountain up in the Big Bear area, right? Mill Creek or? Yeah. On, on Mill Creek. But I think this is it right here. Thurman Flats picnic area. You turn right here and just go park in the parking lot, guys, and just follow the path. You will not be disappointed. It feels like you're at like a secret water spot in Hawaii. Like it, it really does. It's really, really awesome. Thank you, baby, for showing me that place. I love it. I love it. Very to the most beautiful, most loving woman ever. 
get of all the way down from, from this highway. But you can't really see much because it's smoggy. Smoggy and foggy, or not foggy, just a bit hazy. Especially through here for, for quite a while are rock slides and any change in weather as you guys know like we had this huge huge rock and mud slide a couple months ago and some of you guys who live in Canada were even commenting about it and I found that to be remarkable that it was big enough to be in the news up there this guy thank you anytime someone lets you over you guys I always find it nice to, to say thank you <laughs> and we're gonna let this guy over here. See? It, see, it works both ways. And then he just said thank you to me. You see how that works? <laughs> you know what my wife says? <laughs> Tell them what you say. It's the funniest thing. Tell him. <laughs> here, I'll tell him. So when it comes to like thanking someone it's like you're like thanking them after they like like ran you off the road and you're like in a tree like off the road and, and then yeah I don't know it's pretty funny it does make sense though because these people are right on your butt like and like making you do things that you wouldn't do driving and then when you like hit your brakes to like find that spot to freaking pull over it's like then they say thank you but you're already freaking dead like 2,000 feet down the hill <laughs> and then they're like oh thanks <laughs> thanks, for me thanks for letting me by <laughs> yeah exactly it's, it's, it's pretty funny they all have big bear stickers on it and they all have big bear stickers on it big bear bumper stickers big bear bumper stickers yep yeah. <laughs> no they are ruthless man driving up here they they can get ruthless on these mountain roads so you have to be very careful Never ever speed up for these people, you guys. Please just just pull over at the next pullout because technically that's that's what you're supposed to do anyway to keep the flow of traffic going going well. But never speed up for them or do anything that's going to get you out of your comfort zone on these roads because if you make one little mistake, you can go off the edge. It's it, it, it's not worth it. Even though we're all trying to like not be in other people's way, but just uh, yeah. Just please use the turnouts when, when necessary. It's not a race to get up here. It's not who's the best up here. You just missed that beautiful hawk that just flew right in front of the car. Oh wow! Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Sure. It was just like that. Did you get him on the camera? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. As a matter of fact, we got him at about 14 minutes and 45 seconds into it. So 1445. I can't wait to show you who's big. I think it was a hawk. It could have been um, like a golden eagle. If it was, I'm gonna be so disappointed that you, that you didn't see it because I, I know you have to all these birds. Alright, so this would be a cool place to live, babe. They got some beautiful homes down the street, right on the cliff. during their regular life, their work life, now they're in their retired life. I'd like retired life to be soon for me. Is that what we can do? We can do it. Just whatever we want. I guess we still kind of can, but we need people to help us. Those of you still 
still watching. Um, my wife's starting like an Airbnb cleaning business and she's extremely good at what she does. I mean, extremely good. Um, I, I mean, very meticulous. Uh, basically, any of you need anything, probably next season, um, I would strongly suggest that you give us an opportunity to show you what we can do because, uh, yeah, she's, she's, she's a freaking killer out there. She's a machine and she does a, a fantastic job. She knows what it's like to have nice things and, and to maintain things and just, uh, um, yeah, she's, she's, she supervises other people during the winter time for these massive cleaning projects and, um, yeah, she does a great job, and for all of you that have homes up there, and um, or just want regular cleaning without it being in Airbnb, I'm, I'm sure something can be worked out, but we are going to be super busy. But let us know. We'd be honored to help you guys out. We'd be stoked to help you guys out. And as I said, you will not regret it. You will not regret it. She's She has a work ethic like I do, and, and you guys know how much I work. I'm always working. And, uh, yeah. I'm just super, super proud of her and super excited uh, to get this business underway. Congratulations again, man. Thank you. You're gonna kick serious ass and take serious names. <clears throat> JW Marriott's gonna be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Mr. Ritz Carlton. suggest even to my mom to come up this road in, um, if she has to come up here in the winter time because for me it is the safest road even though it's it's about I don't know it's it's quite a bit longer but for me it's the safest road because there aren't as many uh, 5,000 foot drops <laughs> so But it does take you to the highest point in this, uh, of any road in the San Bernardino National Forest, which is on, um, Onyx Summit, 8,443 feet. And sometimes you can get a lot of snow up there during certain storms. So it, it, it can be hit and miss, but I'd rather her be up there than stuck like on the cliffhanger type edge. So I always suggest to, to those of you who are more fearful of these mountain roads, because that's a real, real fear, a real phobia of many people is to take Highway 38. It is longer, once again. It's definitely <laughs> longer, but it's scenic as well and not as many cliffs to fall off.
char char area. So once we get a once we get a better view, I'll show you guys. But it, it doesn't look nearly as bad as I expected it to look. We'll take a look out here. Last 
Road. Remember, that's where part of the fire was too. So I think we're coming up on Glass Road. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's 64 degrees. All right, babe. So if you look like like right there, see it? All the black at, at the top of there. It's like hard to even tell because it's not much. That looked like a lot bigger fire. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. There's going to be one more really good area to see it, I promise. It's coming right up. It'll be the best view of it on this whole drive. There's someone behind us, so I'm going to let him by. say thank you though so now we got to go overtake him <laughs> just kidding just kidding all right we're... okay babe look straight to the left any little crack in these trees you can see see the black toward towards the top of it and it's it's really black at the very top looking at it now i'm seeing why they didn't cover it that much Anyway, we're, we're coming up to Glass Road. This is where they said uh, the fire originated, if I, if I am correct, down Glass Road. And that's where Christopher Dornan met his maker on Glass Road there.
this far out from anything and being by myself, like by ourselves, babe. But, okay, babe, look to the left. Oh, you, so it's back a little bit. Oh. to get fire gear out to, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. That's why uh, it took so long to put that fire out. But they did great. They did great. They had that thing knocked out quickly. And thank you, Mother Nature, for your help as well. when we got five or six feet in freaking Big Bear, there was so much snow up there that they were like, that looks like Denali. <laughs> it really did. It felt like you were in, in Alaska. Like it was, it, was, it was unbelievable. You can get a lot of intense snow up here, but since I've lived here, we've only had maybe, I think it was my first two seasons were the two biggest storms I've experienced up here. And for the past five or six years, we haven't had what I would like which are like three foot snowstorms. Robin Hood Resort, um, and I did a video of, of, of this same room, so if you guys go on to the uh, playlist under lodging, it's the only playlist I have, I think, um, check out the Robin Hood Resort, and, che and check this room out, it's really awesome, it's a two-story room, it's got a jacuzzi inside, um, it's got a spiral staircase, a huge private balcony, it's really nice. And we got it for a killer rain. Yeah, Robin Hood Resort. That's a cool place to stay. It's right in the middle of everything for the most part. I mean, it's technically in the village. Right on Big Bear Boulevard and Pine Knot and Bartlett. Because they have a building across the street off Bartlett. Guys, that's... Look, there's the thing. Yeah. You could barely see it. He was going Did so fast. Did he thank me, though? Uh -huh. Oh, good. Okay. See, this guy in front of us now didn't let him by, so he, he passed him in the other way. And he didn't give him a thank you, I'm sure. <laughs> How dumb, right? <laughs> I hope this conversation isn't making anybody like less smart. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, see, that's what you're supposed to do. If if you're not gonna hold the road and be charging up this mountain, just let everybody by. It'll keep the flow of traffic going. It'll keep you safer. It'll keep them safer.
a cherry ice cream fan. But maybe I haven't. Well, I've, I've never tried cherry Garcia. You know what? I'm sure I would like it. Does it have chunks of cherries in it, or is it cherry yes. flavored? Oh. It's cherries and chocolate. Driving up this way, you guys feel like it's a much bigger mountain range because you're kind of driving the long way, like uh, like parallel to the mountain while you're driving on the mountain, as opposed to like Highway 330, which kind of cuts cuts through. That's why it feels so small because it, it's not a big mountain range, but when you take Highway 330 or the Cajon Pass, actually, like. That shows you how small this mountain range is. You get from the bottom to the top past the mountain range in no time. Descent into Big Bear. You come out into 
Big Bear City area. And Big Bear Lake and all the resorts are on the other side of town. So this is really the back way in. Um, Highway 18 on the back side is also, well so this is like the back way on the front side. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Highway 18 is technically the back side from the Cern Valley. drive up here also when we get big snowstorms just to show you guys what it's like driving up and down from the highest point on the road because it can get treacherous and a lot of times people get so fearful once they're here that it really screws them up and you do not want to have something happen to your vehicle up here in the winter time it can take AAA 24 hours to get to you so you need to be extra cautious have food and water in your car blankets, warm clothing, enough to last you three to five days just in case. It, obviously you're not going to be stuck that long, but it's always better to be extra safe than sorry. Wow, it's so beautiful. That's the desert out there, if you guys can see. I'm trying not to get that smudge in the camera, but it's kind of in the middle of everything. That's sap, right, babe? Or something? Yeah, that's sap. Uh, that's sap. Uh, and that's beautiful.
remember this, but Lake Williams is right up here, about 300 yards on the right. A, a police officer will sit right here next to this turnout sign right here, catching people speeding. And you're going downhill right here, so you will get out of, you will be going fast without even realizing it lots of times. So just be very careful, because I've seen him there a lot. And I don't want you guys to get any tickets up here. I want you to enjoy your time. I'm not encouraging you to like speed when there's not a cop. Definitely not. I'm just saying just be careful right there because you're already going downhill.